I want to address a serious issue that's going on in the fitness community these days. Like, just, just stay tuned. So the, the the topic I want to address today, getting ready to go in the grocery store a little bit, get a couple things. I need to make this quick. Wife might kick my ass. <laughs> anyway, so the the topic I want to address is the this keto diet thing, and let let me just go on record and say I'm not I'm neutral when it comes to the the whole keto thing. Like I'm not against it. I'm also not for it, especially not for a very long time, because I feel like at some point your body going to need carbohydrates. Now, needing a whole bunch of carbohydrates, no, but some carbohydrates and all carbs ain't bad. Like, I, I that's another issue. That's for that's a whole nother video. But the whole keto thing, again, I'm not I'm neutral when it comes to keto. But here's my issue. My issue is when y'all start these diets and y'all want to make a lifestyle change, you just do it just because. So a lot of the reasons and people won't like be straight up and say why they starting it, but you can kind of just hear it in, in, in the way they speak and the way they talk about it. You started it because your homegirl lost some weight on it, your homeboy doing it. Um, I don't know, some famous person that you know off social media or some singer or rapper that you know they doing it they trying it so then you go and try it i i want to invite you to do the research for yourself it, it's important that you 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 look into things and look into diets and look into exercises and workouts and stuff and and find out what find out if if you feel like it's going to work for you don't just jump into something just just because. Like I know a couple people who tried keto and after two weeks they was done because this wasn't working. They couldn't figure out what they could what they could and couldn't have. Oh well, you know I wasn't as regular as I was. Yeah, that's because your dumb ass went out there and you just you just start doing some diet without getting all the details. People love to do stuff like that. Like it's it's annoying to me. Like with all this free information all over the web. You got qualified trainers such as myself that you refuse to listen to. You just go out and you just you haul off and you just start something without even doing the research. A while back, I, I made mention, and this this was about a couple years ago, when everybody was starting to go vegan. So just because some moron, some af some what I don't know what you call it, some hypochondriac just made this documentary and talking about how hot dogs bad for you duh like it took you all these years to realize that for one second you make one documentary and next thing you know the whole world going crazy i'm going vegan because it causes cancer like what the hell like what you what like because he said it that's what you're gonna go and do like don't just don't don't be a follower like go and do the research for yourself it's really not that hard. It, it 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 might might take you a little time to figure out whether or not the diet is gonna work for you, but at the end of the day, do the research. At least you can say for yourself, okay, I looked into this. It's not gonna work. I looked into this. I it took me about a couple weeks. I looked into it. I'm gonna try this. Stop just going out and doing stuff just just because it's the it's the popular thing to do. And this ain't the only thing that y'all do this with. Y'all y'all do it with with workouts. Y'all do it with y'all just do stuff for clout. I swear, like that's that's all we doing in 2019. Just doing stuff for clout. Let's just let let me just do this. Let me just post this just because. Let me try this diet just because. Let me do this workout just because. We gotta stop that. 
We really have to stop that. We, we got to do a little bit more reading, a little bit more research. Dig deep and find out if it's going to work. Find out if it's not going to work. Like, just... Hate to, hate to sound like a broken record, but it's just... It's just not the way to go. It's really not the way to go. So, in closing, if you're going to do keto, go for it. But, make sure that that's the diet that's going to that's gonna fit you and that's the diet that's going to help you reach your goals. If you're not going to do it, great. Like, at least you... Hopefully you 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 did your research and you was able to determine that that just wasn't for you. I'm sure in maybe a few months or even a year or so there'll be another diet out that y'all be crazy about and you'll just be trying it just because I don't know the, the pit bull looking Wendy Williams just start doing it so you're gonna go and do it. She told you to do it so you're gonna go and do it. I don't know, the, the, whoever, whatever man, woman out here that's popular, that's doing stuff, y'all going to go and do it just because. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do the research for yourself. I, I used to, back in the day, look at magazines and look at workouts that this celebrity or this football player was doing. I was like, oh, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to look just like that. And was highly disappointed when I didn't look like that, when it wasn't working, because that workout wasn't for me. That that meal plan wasn't for me. So that's something you want to keep in mind. But I'm done rambling. I'm going here and get my groceries. I know the wife will be calling soon. Boy, get your ass home. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, reshare this video. Appreciate it. Yeah.